good things. Oh, you like that? You like that? What's his name? Randall and Hopkirk. Yeah. He's very white and brilliant, isn't he? You know, he, he looks. He's almost angelic, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a pair of wings. Or... Get some wings on your back, there, boy. Yeah. Am I the dead one or? Well, no, yeah, yeah you're the dead one. All oh, right. You, you, your jumper and your hair are exactly the same colour. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually a t-shirt. No, right, no. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, is that? Yeah, so is he coming on, Con? Or, yeah, or... yeah, I, I just had him on. I just tested it out now with him about <laughs> half an hour ago. <laughs> I put a few photos up. Um, I don't know his surname. Baz said to say hi. Baz, Barry, Barry Stucky? No. If you look at the photos I put up on the thing, there's one with um, Paul Henry. Yeah. I think he's he's from... He's not from this area. He said he started late, but he knew you. Um, oh, the guy with the grey hair? Yeah. Yeah, he's, <laughs> I know him, but I don't know who he well, is. That could be a lot of people our age. Yeah. Uh, you've got white hair, basically. You've got white, shiny, luminous, oh, right. uh, iridescent hair. You sure you're not right. a caterpillar? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, all I know, his name is Baz. Um, he had a strange name. Yeah, Paul Henry said he was his manager or something, messing around with him, sort of thing. But uh, he said, yeah, I think he came from. He went out with somebody from Caswell, a girl from Caswell. Well, that was a bad start, isn't it? But, yeah, and um, where was he from? He, he was, I don't know, somewhere like Barry or somewhere like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Baz, Baz from Barry, you know? Uh, I think he lived in Gosina. Uh, oh, there we are, then. Good mates with him. I was talking to... Um, Paul's coming in now, great. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Who came to see you in May? Robin. Robin? Oh, Paul, um... No, makes a oh, ball. Pete Crab, Pete Crab. Pete Crab, yeah. Yeah, nice yeah. photo you got of him. It was great. He's like that. Hey, Paul, all right? Welcome back, man. Oh, yeah. Hi. 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 All right, guys. Yeah. How are we doing? Okay. Suffering with a bit of a bad back. But uh, apart from that, all good. Oh, you're doing all right if you just got a bad back. <laughs> I, I, I could write a book about a biscuit. I could work from the, from the ankles up. And by, by the time I get to my neck, you'd be sleeping, guys. <laughs> yeah. 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 We spend the first 20 minutes talking about our ailments. Well, that's what happens, isn't it? It's, it's yeah. something to do with our age, guys. Is it? Yeah. Well, at least we're still here to talk about it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah you're right there. You're it's right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I... I... I've been written, writing down stuff about uh, this paddle out to, to remind me because I've got a terrible bloody memory. Uh, I haven't got right. the full details yet. Uh, oh, but am I interrupting something here now? Or no, you know? no, you, we were oh. waiting for you to come along and tell us, give us all the info, that's all. You, you just butt oh. in when you want. Right. Um, well, shall, shall, shall I tell you where we got so far then, is it? Yeah, right, hey, go on. The, the, right. Tell us the story so far. The story so far is that I, I'm, I'm meeting Vicky in the week um, because we've we got to discuss what she wants to do with Dave's ashes. Um, she's she's fully on board now. As you might know, she she was a bit reticent at first because, you know, Dave, Dave was quite a quiet person, a private guy, like, you know, and mm. she wasn't too sure whether, you know, she wanted to go ahead, but she's, she's, she's fully on board now. So um, I, I've got to meet her in the week. I, I, I need to ask her if she wants me to say anything on her behalf or if she's going to say something in front of the people at the time. Um, we're meeting at 4 o'clock-ish um, on the 15th of September. The high tide is about 5 o'clock. It's, it's 11 point something tide, slightly bigger tide than it was for, for Jeff's paddle out. Um, and hopefully, as I said to Paul earlier, hopefully you don't get a southeasterly wind because that 
No, I, I just called. I just called up and I told the the weather that it should stay calm and sunny and warm. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. So the weather's uh, arranged. Uh, That's all right. Don't worry. Uh, uh, and another good omen is that they called. They've been trying to finish the Welsh Championships, uh, which they normally hold the first weekend in May or May Bank Holiday weekend, and they've been they've been trying to hold it in Lantwit. And and now they they they've called the, the what's left you know of the competition on the same day as Dave's paddle out. Now I see I see that as a good omen because yeah. the, there won't be any waves. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. yeah. So well, but if if there is a bit of a swell, we we'll tuck into the corner. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. over the shit pipe, and it, it you know it won't be too bad by there. Um, we're we're not asking anyone to paddle out, and I'm certainly not going to paddle across the crab from from there. Uh, oh, you want to paddle across the crab? Well, that's what they did yesterday for Jeff's when it was a bit oh, of an ordeal. But it was only Paul N who did that, wasn't it? Um, no, two other guys uh, paddled across the rim, and, yeah. and uh, they, they, I spoke to one of them, and they said they were absolutely knackered. <laughs> you can see them in my background there, Tom, don't you? So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it, it was a fair old paddle out, Prima, wasn't it? It was, it, yeah. you know, um, and I. I did have a giggle in the week because somebody went on the page and said perhaps we should have some lifeguard cover for Paul Henry. Um, <laughs> uh, that, that tickled me. That really did tickle me. Like, you know, I think, oh, well, you know, bless, bless, you know. He, he, but he was he, downwind he, on the way back, so it wasn't so bad. Oh, he flew, he flew back, but the other two guys, they they, they paddled off to the lifeguard That's because they didn't fancy paddling all the way back with us, right? So any, anyway, that won't be happening. We'll have a paddle out. We'll try and get as many people in the water as we can and get as tight a circle as we can so so we can all stick together. Obviously, the conditions might um, have something to say about that, but, you know, it's, it's definitely going to, as far as I'm concerned, it's going to go ahead, whether it's, you know, short of a gale, like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it'll it'll go ahead. Um, it, you know, I haven't asked for anyone to do any music or or anything like that because it, it seemed to me although it's it, it was widely accepted that there seemed to be two lots of people um with granddads and and you know they were coming people were setting up over with the musicians were setting up over by the lifeguard hat and and lots of people didn't you know a lot of people went there but a lot of people seemed to disperse into the car yeah. parks and, and, and maybe and just a, maybe just a good idea just to have it on the beach and then just let people yeah, run yeah. off and naturally people, like people can have a you know talk to each other and they can do their reminiscing in that group in yeah. front of you know um yeah. the hole in the wall place like you know where, where we all congregate to there like you know on the steps for there. Mm -hmm. yeah um, so, so that's where i'm at at the moment um we're going to be paddling out around about Half past four, caught the five just before the high tide mark. Um, we, you know, Vic, Vicky's asked me to say something. Um, I will. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to find it easy to say things because I'm not, I'm not very good at stuff like that. But I, I've accepted the fact that she wants me to do it. Um, so I'll find out if she wants me to say anything as on her behalf. Or, hey, uh, do you want I'm me to write? Do you, do you want me to write something as well? Well. Uh, I well, I I won't be able to bloody read it, and I I'm lucky if I remember. All right, it. yeah, and one's enough. No, one's enough. Yeah. You, you can do it I, in I, French if you want. Oh well, yeah, okay. Look uh, Sam's coming. I, I struggle. I struggle. I, I I struggle at times like that because I'm a bit of a sop, as they say. Like you know, I I I, I can guarantee I'm going to be upset. So, um, sometimes less is best. That's what I'm thinking. So, but I, yeah. I need to have a chat with Vicky in the week and. Uh, because we got we got quite a few things to uh, to talk about as well, uh, other yeah. things regarding. Uh, but her but as well. you, so, know, you still get people like Roger and places like people like that who will turn up with his guitar and just do whatever they do, won't you? You know, exactly. it'll just I know, happen. I know. I know. The last time Roger turned up with his guitar, we, I organised a get together in, in in an Indian restaurant in uh, in Blackpill, and um, we had about I don't know about thirty guys there. Uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if, if Wingnut Wingnut turned up as well for for the duel, like you know, and yeah. um, from California. I, I pretty certainly did. So Roger turns up with his guitar, I think he was, and and uh, he starts 
playing his guitar in the restaurant, like you know. So there was a few of us who had a few drinks by that point, and we we were detuning his guitar for him as he was playing, like. <laughs> 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 was that with the, with the British Longboard Union contest? Uh, the Welsh Longboard Classic one, oh, yeah, right, yeah. Years, yeah, two years ago now. Like, but um, it, you know, he, he's got his goal, Roger, isn't he? But uh, you know, it, it, it can't stop him if he was to turn up with his guitar down, but then starts playing, he can carry on in it. But you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I try and keep people down around, um, in front of the hole in the wall area, but there in front of the car parks, but there, and yeah, right, that'd be cool. I think yeah. it'd be a good well, as opposed to as opposed to the other side. Well, well, Sam, what happened um, is that they arranged for they had some ukulele band playing, and Paul Henry was as it was set up that over there as well. Yeah, and then, and then after the paddle out, it 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 looked like it, it the people were going over there, but other people were just going straight home. Like, yeah. So no, what I meant was when you said about everybody meeting by the hole in the wall, yeah. as opposed to meeting over the other side. Yes, and what happened as well, lots of people walked across, we were all milling around on the other side, and then just before they paddled out, they all walked along the beach and, and paddled out, you know. So so I'm, I'm hoping people are going to turn up on the beach and they're all going to be talking about Dave and are reminiscing about thing, you know their, their contact with him. And, yeah. This is where it's about. I was just wondering about that's where you, you've gone off before for um, uh, who's was it now? Um, Gary Parsons. That, that seemed to come out from the hole in the wall end of the beach, as opposed to yeah. the surfside lifeguard lifeguard yeah. side. Yes, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah the, the, all the all the ones I've been to have been done from there. You know. Yeah, it's, it's the best place. You know, it's to keep keep people together in a smaller sort of area. Yeah, and it's and uh, it it it's more sheltered there, isn't it as well? Exactly. So uh, uh, the other thing is, you know, we're we're going into September. Um, really, it it, it was, you know it, it could have been a bit of a nightmare, you know, on, on a you know the first mm -hmm. day. I thought it was on the bank holiday weekend. You don't know how many people are going to be on the beach, and people are not going to be associated with it. Yeah. So, but by, by I I picked this date. Uh, and there was one other date later on in September. Well, obviously the weather's going to go a bit. The, the, war, the circumstances yeah. are, are less chance of being. So really, yeah. this was the only date that we could put, put it. Really, mm. it looked a bit chop uh, for um, Jeff's, didn't it? There was a southeasterly wind on it, and and while they were waiting for Paul to paddle across the crab to to distribute Jeff's ashes. They were yeah. all getting washed onto the rocks, basically, in uh, on you know, with a bit pipe there. Yeah. Because oh, I, I saw on. that, um, I think it was maybe um, Howard, or whether it was somebody else, did the sort of the little bits that went with it. And it yeah. missed a bit about Paul paddling out to Crab. It, uh, it just said Paul paddling out to Langland Bay, or ashes yeah. scattered yeah. in Langland Bay, as opposed to the Civic of yeah. Of crab, you well, know. I'm, I'm hoping it's all going to go well, and we get as many people, and we get as tight a circle as we can in the bay, so I don't have to scream and shout at, uh, and lose my voice. And we can all get as tight as we can, and, and make us a, a really good spectacle. Uh, and as far as I can see, that's the, about the only last thing we can do for David. Yeah. You know, and yeah. like you know, and that's 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 what I'm hoping and I'm trying to plan for. Mm -hmm. uh, you, um, you won't be shouting and ball, You'll be just trying to breathe bad out there. Oh no, I go right. I I, I I I I I remember the Paul Carwin. Um I swam out. Yeah. And um I, I don't know if you know, I, I I can't use my legs to swim because I when I've got so much metal work in them, I, I sink anyway. And if I try and use my legs, I I, I end up going backwards. Wow. Because I, I I've got two club feet basically. I can't I can't flex my my feet. So, so I I had to swim without using my legs basically. Then I put a bit of a float on my on myself to keep my keep myself yeah. from sinking. Yeah. Yeah. So, all the lifeguards, you know, being lifeguards, we, we all got it organised that they were going to paddle out halfway to the point because because the tide had turned, and uh, obviously there's a bit of a rip out there when the tide turns. And, and mm. of course the lifeguards were on their paddle boards. They paddled straight out the point, and by the time I got out there, swam out there, there were people being washed around the point. 
So, you know, that's the last thing we want. So we, we're going to make sure that they only paddle like halfway out, almost on the shit pipe and stay by there. And, you know, yeah. and then and people can be up on, people can be up on the, on the path. Yeah. You know, that's the right. Went because yeah. I haven't been in the water for years. So I'm as, um, as Dave's ashes been sorted, Paul? No, I've, I've had a chat with Vicky about that and she was a bit concerned because um, the ashes come in, in a, a pot. Yeah. With, with like a, um, a, a perforation thing on the top, which you have to punch punch out right. to distribute. So I'm trying to uh, arrange, because I'm not, I'm not sure if he wants to keep some for something else. Oh, so, yeah. So that's what i got to see about. And I, I've, I've sourced a couple of uh, urns with lids on specifically okay. for ashes. And I'm going to, I'm going to show them to her when I see her in the weekend, we're going to do something about that. And then right. I, I'll, I'll, I'll have some of Dave's ashes is, is, the, is the plan at the moment. And, right. you know, not, okay. not all of them. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to show you the Atlantic chart now, all right? For the next, the next couple of weeks. Right. So we are here, obviously. Okay. And there's the wave height will be there. So, um, round about, the, the, there's no lows coming in at all. Look. It doesn't look anything. It, it looks like it's going to be a light, Thursday, light the Friday, Saturday, so the 15th, flat. Well, that, that, well uh, that's that's good. If it stays that's like good. that. All right. Perfect. And, uh, yeah. You know, wave period, wave period, wind. Hang on. Well, the winds are going to be what? Southwesterly, there we go. So it's perfect. perfect. Ten mile an hour southwesterlies. Yeah, that's perfect if it stays like that. The, the yeah. other thing is, uh, Dave's Dave's board at the Baron is up in um, Matt Stevens' shop in Calais at the minute with with a picture of. Um, is, the ca is my camera on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got it. Yeah. Uh, I, I've got a couple of these books which I most probably take down and so people can have a look at as well. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm I'm hoping I'm going to get um, Dave's Baron out of out of the shop temporarily for the minute, mm -hmm. and I'll have that down there, and most probably paddle out on that. Right. All right. So, yeah, um, be cool. It's either that, or I'm going to use Jeff Cridge's board, and and uh, you know, mm. I, I'm okay. You know, I'm okay paddling anyway. I can, you know, I'm, I'm still Crid reasonably. Cridge's isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't that one of my old ones? No, it, it, um, he he did have one of yours. I don't know what happened to it. Yeah, it's one of the snapped out crab. Roger Roger Cooper made him a board. Oh. Um, and I don't know how long it's. Well, it's probably Moses. I I reckon I I repaired it for him about thirty years ago. <laughs> and it was in his garden. It was in it was in <coughs> house in in West Park. Penny phoned me up and she said, uh, um, "Can you can you do me a favor? Like, uh, can, can you can you come and get Jeff's board and get rid of it for me? Take it down the tip or something? Because uh, you know, it's, it apart from the fact is it's it's upset to me. It's getting me down a bit." She said, "I I need to get rid of it. It's it's rotten in the garden." So I went down and got it, and it was full of water. It had a better suntan I, than I'll ever get in my life. It was like. It was almost like a dark oak color, <laughs> and it was a, it was a clear uh, foam white board when it, when he bought it. Oh, hmm. right. So was that? Um, is that because the, the water's got into it and discolored the foam? Yeah, well, and the sun and the sun has not been on it for fifteen years. All oh, right. Mm. So you know, so I, I've 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 got that. I don't think Roger was using UV filtered resin at the time. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Um, so I've I've still got that. I I've sealed it all up, like you know, and, and you know, I got as much of the water out as I could and sealed it up. So it, you know, I could, I was going to pad that. But I, I'll ask. I'll, I'm going to ask Vicky if she wants me to pad the Dave's board out. Uh, you know, I, I'm trying to I'm trying to get as much as I can of. Vicky to be involved with it and making the decisions, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it, yeah. It's a, it's a sort of a cathartic thing, I think, isn't it? You know, yeah. Well, she's gonna. Be, it's gonna be hard work for her, isn't it? You know, it's gonna be very emotional, of course. Mm. She, you know, she, she tells me off all the time because every every time I talk to her, she, you know, 
she 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 cries like you know and, and oh, uh, but is she is, is she totally um for the paddle out? Yes, she is. Yes, yeah. She, she wasn't. She wasn't at first because Dave, Dave, you know, she, obviously she knew Dave better than anyone, and and he was a very quiet, yeah, very quiet. You know, oh, yeah. I I never ever heard him raise his voice. No. He, he, I, I did once. Yeah, yeah he, oh, he, he got me good and proper. I, I tell you the story of a day, right? It's really funny because it was just when he'd uh, moved up, you know, yeah. and me being a little grom, right? I needed some wax. So, <laughs> so it was about eight o'clock at night and I needed some wax. So I went and knocked on his door on Oystermouth Road. <laughs> he said, fuck off. <laughs> just, what are you doing? Here? Come to the surgery and get some wax, you bastard. you. And we we laughed about it later. I, I, we talked about it, and uh, we used to have our chats, you know. And he yeah. laughed about that. He said, "You know, that's the only time I ever raised my voice to one of the boys." I never heard him raise raise his yeah. voice. I, I, was, I was sort of endeared to him, I think, but because of that. Yeah, even in meetings with the WFF and the BSA, yeah. you know, he'd be trying to he'd try. He'd calm things down. He was so calm and everything, like you know. Yeah. But, and and, cool. and, he was quiet. He, he went about his life quietly, doing things and getting things done quietly, like, you know, yeah. which is really good. I, I can tell you a little story on you um, about him. Like, we, we were surfing out in, in uh, Tenerife, me and Dave, and we, we, we always just meet up out there, like, you know, and he was like a local out there, like, you know, because you know, I, I, I used to do a right life. But uh, we were surfing Europa left, me and Dave, about four foot in the morning. There's only four people in the water. And two Israeli surfers take it on their heads. They, they're going to drop in on us continuously. like. So uh, I was getting a bit annoyed. So I I said, oh, Dave, I'm going to drop in. And I, they've had it, like, you know. So I, I, I dropped in and put this bloke on, on his ass on the, you know, <laughs> on, off the wave, like, you know. And, and next minute they're screaming and shouting, like, you know. So... Dave just paddled over him and quietly spoke to him. And they didn't give us any more trouble after that. Not a, <laughs> not a uh, and uh, I, I don't know what he said to him, but 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 I, it, it could have been something like, you know, you don't want to mess with him because he's in the SAS or something like that. It could have been anything, like, you know. But he just spoke to him. It's been been big diplomatics, Henry, Henry yeah. Kissinger. Yeah, but he, he, he didn't, didn't raise his voice. He just paddled straight over him. And next thing, no problem whatsoever. Like you know, it's yeah. so funny. But that, that's what he was. He, he he just did, did everything like that, you know. So yeah. and, and yeah. I remember, and I remember only, one. Oh, sorry, Paul, go on. The, the only other thing is which which surprised me about Dave was he he, he loved karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> I got some stuff of him singing as well. I guess no. some... what was his song? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I, I remember see, out in Tenerife once he, he was, but out, out of the, out of Dave and Vicky, you, you, you would have thought it would be Vicky who would be the karaoke queen, yeah, and Dave yeah. would, you know, but it was complete opposite. Like you know, it's funny. Mm -hmm. it was funny. Talk, talking about Dave being cool and calm, okay? Like he was um, out in Puerto Rico, he was a team coach. And of course, I was in charge of my car. So I had uh, five guys in my car, and I, and like a twat, I put the key for the car in my back pocket to go surfing at Maria's down in Rincon. Right. And um, come out the water, and it's like getting dark, you know. Come yeah. out the water, go for the keys, and I lost the keys to the car. <laughs> Only one key we had. Yeah. So so it's you know he could have just oh you. An idiot, you know what the fuck are you doing? Putting the, uh, why didn't you just give the keys to one of the boys? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Hang on a second. We sort it out. So calmly, he just went up to one of the bars, got hold of a telephone, and then phoned up the people in um, what's it called? The capital, which is about three hours away, four hours away, and so we had to wait. Had, we had to wait down in Rincon, down in Maria's bar. Until somebody came along from a rental company with a spare set of keys, and he was just like, "Okay, it's cool, you know. Don't worry, you know. Sit here, watch, watch, let's watch the stars for a bit, you know." I I should think everyone's got some story about what's happened, you know, yeah. things, 
of Dave, like you know. So, so uh, I, I, yeah, I'm sort of looking forward to it, but I'm also dreading it. Like, you know, the, mm. So, uh, but you know, I, I suppose Vicky's the same, like you know. But mm. no, that's yeah. so that's where we stand at the minute. I'm trying to let as many people, reminding people all the time about it. You know, if mm. a few people can't, well, can't I'll, I'll, st I'll stop pumping it up in Isle of Langland now as well. Yeah, I'll, I'll do um, an endless summer as well for uh, all his friends in Cornwall, so they'll know. I, I think Alex, uh, Alex, when I put something on, Alex Williams gets it as well. He puts it on. His, that's it, isn't it? So, yeah. 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 And I'll also do um, Gower Live for the webcam as well. Yeah. I think most it. people do know about it, to be honest. Really, people were talking yeah. about it. Yeah. I, I think so, yeah. Um, you know, it, we just, just need to keep reminding people, basically. Yeah. You know. mm. Hopefully, it'll be a really nice, nice... And a, and, a, and a nice couple of hours on the beach. Yeah, I think so. That's the, that's, that's the only disadvantage meeting at that side of the beach. As you say, you've got to choose a side. But if it is, if it should happen to be a wet day, that's where the shelter comes in handy, isn't it? Yeah, we're not going to get 100 people no. in the shelter, are you? Oh, no, what, what do you mean? What? We'll be going in the water and getting wet anyway. What, what shelter? The ones, the ones <laughs> it used, to be, used to be a shelter until Langley got posh. No, no. Yeah. What shelter do you mean, Andrew? The shelter at the bottom of Alma Road. There's no oh. shelter there. No shed. There's about two foot, two foot of shelter. Oh, yeah. right. Ten people in there, maybe. Well, so, but it's, it's all right. Though what I've done, right? I've written to uh, Swansea Council, and I designated um, an amnesty for the Comer Comer End. <laughs> it's it's going to be called Langland officially for that afternoon. There we are. Then. <laughs> there we are. Right. So, so that's where I stand, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sign off at the minute, and uh, I, I've. I got a few little chores to do at the minute. Uh, thanks for coming on, Paul. It's really yeah. nice to you. Right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, That's great. Can I just say, Paul? I think it's great what you're doing. It don't get too in. Don't get over involved. It, it will happen. I'm sure. You know. Yeah, you, well, you, you know, set the I, seeds. You know, it'll just it'll turn, just flow. I'm turn up. I'm going to turn up, and I'm going to do what I got to do. And if the weather's bad, I'm still going to be there. Yeah. And you know, we don't rust. People don't rust, do we? So. No, you know, <laughs> but you do. So <laughs> you know when the, on the on the paddle up and it gets to you said you you're going to try and keep it tight so you don't yeah. have to shout. So are you going to sort of do the talky bits from the middle of the yeah. of the circle? Yeah, Dan yeah. Vicky's asked me to say a few words and I, I yeah. need to I need to have a chat to her what she wants. You know, I got a few things I can say. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and there'll be a little quiet spell. Perhaps we slap the water for you know for a minute while I'm scattering the ashes, and and then we paddle back and we all talk and try and get warm. <laughs> right. So you're going to scatter the ashes, so the 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 bit the, the, the section of ashes you've got within that circle, is it? Yeah, uh, and I'll I'll most probably ask people to slap the water and, while I'm doing it, and you know, as a, yeah, as a yeah. bit, of a, bit of a thing, so people can see from around to see if something's going on. Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. That is right. Keep keep it when you're watching from the cliff path. You, you can't hear what you know. Yeah, you get well, the silent spit. You know, you're aware of that, yes. and then you get a, a cheery bit. I've noticed it before. Ooh. Yes, there we are. So that's it, guys. All right. Uh, I, I, Paul, it's a shame you, you're not going to be there, son, because you know you you've got a lot of experience with Dave. Yeah, and, and like, like I have, but, like everyone else. Has. Yeah, but the thing but, is, I I can't even go on the beach. There we are. You know, so, it, it's not let alone, you, let alone go in the water. No, and I can't risk Paul, it. Yeah. Will you do the same as, um, remember, uh, I'm not sure if it was Gary Parsons or whatever, where you got in touch with the, uh, the whatever the, the camera was. Yeah. And you asked him to it over that way, didn't you? This is what I said. I, I started getting older of them and uh, I'll try and get them to do the same as it did for Johnny Hattons, you know. Just leave yeah. the camera on the point or from the scanning from the point to the shit pipe all the time, all the afternoon, you know. Yeah, where's the camera mounted? Then up on one of the huts, is uh, it? Uh, on um, Miles's house. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. right. No, so I no. thought it was over the other. I know this one in Miles' house, so I thought there was something over the other side. No, oh, no, no. No, there used to well, be one from the brasserie, but I don't know what happened to it. Right. And, and, and after that, Paul, we, we, you know, through you, we could put like the, the final tribute on the Isle of Langley page and all the relevant. I'll, I, what I want to do is get all all the people who have got footage to send me the footage or post it up in Langland and I'll put it all together into a clip, you know? Yeah. And you can do I, what I you did do. with Johnny Hutton's one. Yeah, and you can do what you do then because that's, that. you know, I wouldn't even know what it is. It, you were, just to, for me to get on here tonight, it, I had to go and ask my wife to help me. <laughs> <laughs> We know yeah, we you can tell it to stop giving you a blowjob now. Yeah. No, God. no. I was uh, I was sitting outside the bras up until you know twenty minutes, half an hour ago, and um, looking across to the the bench and the pole, it was quite sort of uh, clear. You know, you could sort of um, it, you, it stood out. You could make yeah. the make the. You know, uh, we're gonna need the, the you know the the gods to be with us a bit, but you know, hopefully it'll all be fine. Well, and, I've arranged and, all that. It's all right. It's done. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Mentioned in dispatches. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. No, it's looking pretty good on the weather. It's all right. Yeah. I I I I've got to do a job in the next week. I I I I maintain Jeff's bench down in Langland. Like you know, I I yeah. I've got to go down. I'm going down. Oh, you, can, you could pop over and oil the uh, oil our bench then. I am going to. We got to talk about that as well, boys. Yeah, well, that's, that's not my department. I'll do jazz. Right. <laughs> Whereabouts is that one then, Paul? It's um, you know, the middle steps up onto the um, yeah. where, where yeah, the palm trees are. It's just for that. All yeah, right. Just for All right. Um, so I did it. I did the last two years, and it's going to need another one now this year. Like you know, it lasts uh -huh. about two. Years. But I, it's a bit of a grey area with those benches, and who, who who maintains them? The council don't do anything. You know, they um, yeah. so. Penny and um, Mavis asked me if I because she, she's she was struggling as well. Jeff's mum, you know. Um, uh -huh. So I, I I just take it on myself now. I go down and give it a coat, like you know, every so often. Like, Is uh, his mum still alive? Well, well, I think she was. I'm not sure now. Um, she was struggling a bit, like you know, last last time. But obviously, Penny appreciated anyway. So. Mm. Hopefully we see you there anyway on the day next right. the next couple. Yeah. Hey guys, you take care, all of you. Yeah. All okay. Nice one, man. Tidy. Cheers, Paul. Come you back. Speed. You all come back now whenever you want to. Okay. No, no, you're all back right. on. You can come back on a bit more. Well, I don't hold too much hope for that, sir. Huh? <laughs> I, I find I find it. I find it quite strange looking at myself in the top corner, but you know, it's like weird. <laughs> no, you you're looking, you're looking much more natural than you were the last time you were on, that's for sure. Oh, I, I got spooked the last time. Yeah, I, I think it's because we've been talking as well, uh, two of us. Yeah. yeah it's a lot easier, isn't it? Yeah, it, it has got a bit easier because since, we, since we've been catching up every so often, Paul, you know, it, yeah, it is yeah. But uh, you, you Like pictures, you, you'll never see many pictures of me anywhere. No. When I was doing gymnastics, I'd I'd run, I'd hide. <laughs> I hated it. I hated it. You came there. You say came here. Right. Some of some of us are in front, are right in front of a crowd. Sam and Paul in it. You know, you you, you get used to it, like you know. But, yeah. But I I, I hated it. Huh. You, you know, I hated you know if you in contests and you, I didn't mind doing the contest, but if I thought that someone was taking pictures of me, it would put me off. Like. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, take care, all right? Yeah, okay. Bye, Bye. 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 Nice one, man. Okay. Tidy. Take care. Good effort, man. Good effort. Yeah. Well done. All the best. I don't know how to stop this thing, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you have to stay with us now. Yeah. There, there, there is a button that says stop. Oh, there he is. He's gone. <laughs> we got, are you, uh, um, <laughs> you going to be photographing or paddling, Michael? I think. Paddling. You are. What did you say, Mike? Sorry, I was looking to see how much time we had left. Um, paddling. Oh, are you okay? Well done. Yeah. No, so we need to collect um, all the photos and that we can get and, and whatever film we can get as well. Well, I think I've tried to... Decided.
I'll try and take a camera out with me. Oh, that's a good idea, Mike. All right. I'm undecided whether to take a paddle board or a surfboard. I take well, a, I take a boat if I was you. It's I yeah. it's uh, it's not far out, is it? It's only fifty yards, and you're only there for the uh, the whole thing of taking yeah. a big board down. Yeah, stability wise, you think in a good? Yeah, it's just it'd be easier to take a surfboard. Yeah. Oh, easier. I thought it'd be more stable on a on a paddleboard on a stand up. You know. You got a long board, Emily Biscuit? I got. I got a surfboard that I can, I think, will float me. <laughs> float your boat. Yeah. Will you be using your special wetsuit as well? Oh yeah, I love that, bud. Unless it, unless it warms up a lot between now, you know, now and then. I wonder what's warm at the moment.